Welcome back to Mongo's Garage. Glad you guys came back. Hope you enjoy the video. Welcome back to Mongo's Garage, guys. Here it is Wednesday evening. Roughly 25 degrees in the garage. We haven't had to eat around for a while. We've been standing around BS a little bit. Uh, started putting things back together tonight. Old SpongeBob square body there is uh, slowly getting put back together. Again, like we were talking about before, this is uh, everything's been essentially two coated. And from here, it's all going to get wet sanded and then sprayed one last time with it all together. So there he is without my ugly mug in the way. Hood is just sitting on there. I wanted to get it off the table. So just to see what the paint looked like. So is that filler panel kind of just sitting there. This door though is where it belongs. And the fender is where it belongs, as far as I can tell. So that's kind of where we're at tonight. We got the door and the fender hung on it. I did put the door, the gas door on it just to get it off the ground. Pretty happy with how everything turned out. Which door does got the uh, desert tan kind of uh, desert storm look. Oh yeah, we got the tailgate on it too, just to see what it looked like. Held on there by masking tape, of course. I didn't want to put any of the hardware in it yet because it's all black, I wanted to keep it black. But uh, looking up the side of it, everything lines up pretty good. That fender isn't as, uh, isn't as shiny as the rest of it, of course, there as you can see here simply because there's uh, some overspray on it. But I'm pretty happy with it. It's not perfect, but uh, again, I never set out to make it perfect. So that's all for this evening, gentlemen. Just wanted to give you guys a real quick catch up to where we are. Tomorrow night, we're gonna put the door and the fender on the driver's side. That is the Taiwan Fender. We'll finally get to see if it fits. All right. Thanks for joining us, guys, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow night. Mongo's out. SpongeBob square body watchers. Uh, yeah, we did way more tonight than I ever expected we would. But everything's bolted back on it. There you go. We even put the trim around the, the grill. But I'll explain to you why in a second. 
Uh, Taiwan fender fit, but it isn't exactly perfect. This is the Taiwan fender. It's sticking out just a little bit there in the door. So either the door is pushed in right there or the fender is stuck out. So it's one or the other. This door fit really well. I'm happy with how it's on there. It opens and closes beautifully. And you can see there, once you line it up, everything's kosher. <clears throat> Cow support cover is in. So what we spent most of the time doing tonight was getting the rad support to match the front of the hood. Right here in the center, it was actually out about a, yeah, three quarters of an inch to where uh, we had to play around with it and get it all to match up. We're trying to understand whether or not the tip of that thing should be body color, but I don't think it should. I think it's supposed to be black or whatever color is under the hood. Go ahead. All right, so uh, what we ended up doing, as you can see here, I did weld this before. Uh, whoever shot this cow support or this, uh, this rad support, actually it had split right here. And what happened is I had welded that back together. But what I didn't take note of is that the center support was actually bent out roughly three quarters of an inch. If you look straight across it now, it's pretty straight. If, if anything, maybe it's back just a little bit, but uh, that's what we ended up doing tonight. So what we ended up, we tore the chain fall apart and we started with the chain fall essentially hooked here to here. And we pulled on it and pulled on it and pulled on it while it was rolling this up that way. So I didn't like that. So then I got the bright idea of taking that piece of two by three over there, angle iron, and we actually opened both doors and rested that two by three angle iron up against this pinch seam right here. And I went under the hood with the toe strap to the chain fall and pulled back on it. And we got it to where it's supposed to be, at least we think we do. Uh, I still want to, I'm going to tweak this over here. I'm going to try and open this door gap up just a little bit. It's really tight. I mean, it looks good, but it's really tight in comparison to the other side. And this door is hanging a little low in the back. So a little bit more to do on this side. Um, I've been screwing with the hood hinge or the hood catch, trying to get it to close right. And we're really close. That's not supposed to happen. You get the idea. And that's what we were trying to get done and it was, like I said, that rad support was sticking out. Now it's actually nice and even. So like you saw, I got some more welding to do there. I got to clean that up and we'll scuff all that down and we'll paint it again. I got to put the radiator back in it. I took the top mounts out so we wouldn't destroy it. But uh, yeah, old SpongeBob give us a run for our money tonight. But uh, so far so good. The, uh, how do you want to say? Country boy logic got her back where she belongs. All right, guys, that's it for tonight. It is uh, pretty late, pretty cold out here. We ran out of heat a long time ago, and uh, it's time to go to the house. The Mongo Man is out. Good morning, YouTube. Nice cold morning today. Making our way out here to the garage. You can see there's still snow on the ground. We're supposed to go into a deep freeze here the next couple of days, so I'm sure garage work will be interesting i'm about to get really bright wow is that sun bright it is cold though beautiful out here i'll try and walk that video at the same time if i can fall over in the ice so this morning uh i've dubbed it it's going to be uh precision saturday fact that I want to get all the fenders and the hood and everything right where they belong. Make them look good. We've got to get out here and get the heat turned on. Like I said. Oh, there it is. No one stole it. Darn it. I was thinking maybe uh, Chip Foose would come and take it and finish it for me. I guess I'm Chip Foos, Mongo Foos.
What's up, YouTube? Monday night. Gonna get the regular Monday night special in. We'll give you a quick catch up, quick update where we're at currently here in Mongo's garage on SpongeBob Square Body. Everything is bolted on all the way around the truck, tailgates in. I think I showed you guys all this earlier in this video, but if not, we'll just do a walk around. Quick look at everything we got done. You've seen that bed a thousand times, right? Coming on up. Oh, we'll talk about that, won't we? Yeah, you probably want to know what in the Sam Hill did I do? Well, Saturday, Braden's grandfather, Wes, came over and he was asking what those marker lights look like. And we took the marker light and said, yeah, they don't look the greatest. And then we took that marker light and set it up against that. This is the original GM fender that had a big dent in it right there. And I had done a bunch of body work. Well, I never test fit the marker light. And sure enough, there was about a half inch gap across the top of it. So I got in there and ground out the mud and laid in some new mud. And that's kind of where we ended up. So that's kind of, uh, that's the last coat right there. We'll get that scuffed off and go from there with it. But other than that, uh, the other story was the front of that cow. Rad support, like we talked about, right? The rad support was sticking out about an inch to three quarters of an inch right dead center. Pretty happy with how I was able to get it figured out and back in line and everything's all lined up. So that's the front of it. Yeah, that's kind of why they call it a square body, ain't it? Because of how squared off she is. But uh, looking pretty good. So we'll come around here. Got some other things to show you. So the door panels. He's going to go with that Levi blue, that dark blue for the interior color. That's uh, that's a door panel paint that they purchased. Yeah, I kind of like it. It offsets the tan, that's for sure. And the dash is gonna be the same color. Uh, I think they're just gonna do a, like a high Sierra seat cover. You know what I mean? A uh, homeless Dave Freiberger special. But that's the plan. Here's the other the driver's side. Now I, uh, they were red and they came out pretty nice. I'm surprised at how nice that paint is. I just hope it doesn't scratch off of there, All right? So the only other thing I want to show you what we did tonight, I did uh, finally got the battery. Battery box is all done and bolted in. I don't know that you'll be able to see it there, but that's the battery box. It's uh, not going anywhere, which is a good thing. And then again, like I said, I don't know if you guys saw it before, but I had this cut right here. That's where I uh, relieved that front end. And we're going to have to sand that all again, I think, or at least get another coat of paint on it whenever we're done. But, uh, yeah, underside of the hood looks real nice. Inner fenders all bolted in place where they belong. So she's coming right along. A little dusty right now, but, you know, what can you expect? Closes real nice. Everything comes down. Lines up. SpongeBob Square Body, baby. All right, guys. So that's it for this Monday. Uh, part 11. I'm going to get this posted tonight. So tomorrow I have a basketball game. The rest of the week. We're supposed to get snow like two inches every night this week. So it depends on what happens with school. Whether or not we'll get back out here. I'm going to finish uh that little bit of body work there and get some primer on that and then we're going to go to wet sand in the truck get everything wet sanded one last coat of color on everything and then uh start assembling this bad boy all right that's it hope you guys are enjoying the updates part 11 here and soon gonna be uh hopefully there at the end talk to you guys soon 
Mongo Man is out. Hey guys, thanks for coming back and watching SpongeBob Square Body Part 11. Glad you guys made it back and hope I entertained you and maybe made you laugh. If so, go down there and hit that subscribe button. Maybe let a friend know and they can come and watch the videos as well. Give you something to talk about around the water pool. So that's all for this week. It's going to be a cold one, so hopefully we make our way into the garage. But that's it, guys. Thanks so much. Talk to you all soon. Longo is out.